Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be finishing up the color change of our Celica. And also, we're going to be test fitting our new wheels. Thank you sir. Got a fresh new cut. His butt's so plump. We'll see you guys at the garage. So far everything's been wrapped other than the bumpers. So front bumper, rear bumper, and side skirts, and also the top half. So that's what we're gonna be working on today is the rest of the car. And also we plan on installing our new R-Spec wheels. Our CR Kai reps. More like CR lies, you are those. Yo, chill, man. This is all I could afford. Just gotta pick up the tires, which is just at the shop, like down the street, only three minutes away. So pick those up get them to wrap them on our, our spec wheels, and then we'll test fit them on the car. We'll try to get as close to a finished state as we can with our early 2000s Fast and Furious inspired Celica. Let's get it. Before we head to the tire shop, I'm gonna prep the front bumper. We'll just do some more bundle work on some of these areas. Put some of the bigger chips on the bottom here. And uh, other than that, Looks like it's gonna need a lot of inlays, but it is a legitimate veil side front bumper. Actually, the entire veil side kit is legitimate. Which is one of the main reasons why I went with the GT instead of any GTSs when it was available at that time. the tires this guy's coming with us <laughs> go for a little cruise all righty so guys tires and wheels acquired no 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 hit up motion tires if you guys need cheap wheel tire mounting and uh my total was 60 bucks so pretty cheap here compared to other places that actually charge you like the full hour of labor. Why did this guy come? <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing, you freaking doggy? Yeah, dude, I got a shift. All right, see you guys back at the garage. So I ended up picking up just fairly cheap aftermarket lugs. They're just black. But uh, I needed to replace, both sides are different anyway, so I needed to replace all of them. Let's see what this looks like with a two inch spacer. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Because it's doing all the work for me. That's, that's not true, man. I just do it for the camera. <laughs> subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. Seriously, subscribe to this kid's YouTube channel. He's started one, and so far, he's one of the more dedicated, one of my more dedicated friends who's tackled this platform. The others gave it a shot and then quit after like one week. Kind of sad. I'm pretty funny too. <laughs> no, actually, this kid's hilarious, man. He's actually kind of motivating me to do more skit style stuff on my channel too. I mean. Yeah, I'm selective, okay? But this kid's funny. Yeah, I didn't know, man. I didn't know, man. I didn't know, man. <laughs> Anger. <laughs> Wrong bolt pattern. Yeah, which one? <laughs> Let's try both. That's the wrong one. Oh, wait, uh, spacer first. Right. Oh, I hope this is the right size, dude. Oh! And it's hub centric. Ow! The other fender rule and also in high school. We have one on the other side. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's a good idea. Missing some bolts, guys. <laughs> These are the wrong thread size. Doesn't fit. This is actually what we're looking for. Hi. <laughs> they carry rotiform. I think they only have it in black. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Yeah, you too. We're back. Loaded. Thanks to wheel experts or wheel pros, local shop in Calgary. They hooked it up with a JDM tuner lugs and they were closed 10 minutes ago. So thank you for remaining open for us. I know, right? Exact same. So make sure. Oh, perfect. 
They fit so nicely. Yo, black on white. That's gonna look sick. Yeah, we're racism. <laughs> right, moment of truth. Oh, 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 mother! But look at that. Sticking out like an inch further than the body. I love it. Yes, bled boy. Looks good to me. Let's put on the rest of the wheels. Are you going coilovers? Yeah, and Get then use the fender roller. Yeah, and then you had to fender roll. Yo, let's do it. Yeah. Let's camber the shit out of this thing. It also depends how low we go with this thing. So like, you know, I still want it to be semi-drivable. Okay. These, uh, what are they? Aotelli. Aotelli. <laughs> Gotta pronounce it right. You <laughs> better <laughs> Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I tripped over those your face. What the heck? How come the dog's face was your face? <laughs> We're in business, Dougie. We're in business. All the wheels are on, but it definitely needs more low. We'll lower it on coils. See what the natural negative camber will do with the rear wheels. We'll probably end up rolling all the fenders. I wrapped this carbon fiber. And meticulously pushed in the letters, but looks legit. Mm, mm. Quickly rearranging Sunny's shop. Here's a little preview of what the wrap looks like outside. And actually, on camera, it looks like the top half is already all black. Here for Mustang. Look at that big pair of meat tires. Yeah, I'm excited to get all of the other pieces wrapped, man. Let's just do this. What is this, man? You're gonna waste valuable vlog time? Yeah, what's grass? Hey, what is this, Sunny? I know it's gonna be so. Oh, you yo, want the grass, my guy? Up, How much is that, yo? They ain't gonna roll up. All they want is fucking. Suma! <laughs> Seriously, though, what is that for? It's for my bunny. Oh, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> it's, his, uh, it's his bunny's bed. No, it's for his eating. Oh, it's food. Press on the front bumper. Kind of sanded it down, but I think. It needs one more good layer of spot filler. It's gonna need multiple inlays, especially for the high stress areas like in here. Probably gonna do one for here. One goes in the middle of this area. Yeah, the rest we might be able to do in one piece. And actually the grill part, the sky, we're gonna be doing this in carbon. Please show my do it, do it, do it, do it. Show my please. Bling! <laughs> yeah, come on, come on, show my. Show me, show I ended up using paper towels to make our pattern silhouette of the top because it's like once you take this off, it's not a straight line, man. It does curve a little bit down, but this is so we utilize as much of the wrap as we can, not really waste. But also, this makes it easier for you so you're not overstretching areas. It's such a waste of paper towel. Then we can shape it up on our black vinyl wrap. And it should make it easier to lay down instead of having to cut this huge rectangular piece. And I left like several inches on both sides so you got some play. Better. Butter. Let's quickly throw on our Tanabe tower brace. Sticky. Sticky. Oh yeah. Nice. Probably gonna wrap that on the car somewhere. All right, we got the tower bar or tower brace, whatever you guys want to call this thing. It's installed, but the way they made it, you actually aren't given all that much space on the top part of the engine. Hey. It's just if you tried to lay this flat, you'd be hitting this part. Like, look how close that is. Oh wow, you're right. 
got some window visors we can throw on this thing. Now we got the top half wrapped. What's your emergency? This particular set comes with four. And the rear windows actually get their own. The sides on. Let's test the windows. Okay, well. It does it touch right here. Right there. Ooh. Yeah, I think when we bend it upwards a little bit. Yeah, like that? Yeah, <laughs> what the heck? Good job, dude. And look at that. It's so close. I think we got it right. I'd say we got quite a bit done today. Lots of progress done on the Celica. Really the last piece we're waiting on is the coilover so we can lower this thing. Probably get rid of the two inch spacers just cause that's a little too aggressive. The entire middle area or middle section of the Celica is completely wrapped. I'm planning on doing this, Kelly Green, but I'm just seeing if this plastic dip stuff is coming off. Yeah, tower braces in, window tints, wheels are on. The specific wheels that I really wanted for the Celica, even though they're not real CRKs. Poor sports, okay? Work with what you got and with whatever little funds you may have because I have so many other projects that need my attention and money. And actually, you didn't see this part, but Sunny helped me install stronger dampers for trunks that have spoilers on it. So this actually likes to shoot up and it's pretty tough to get it back down. Like honestly, I'm actually using some force, man. Feels like 10 pounds. Those are actually OEM dampers for regular GTSs that rock the TRD spoiler already. So this is really turning out to be a complete TRD build. And also just so you guys know, I actually ended up buying a subtle wide body for this thing. Like it's not nothing too crazy. I'm not actually gonna be cutting up uh, the beautiful stock body on this. I'm gonna keep it as immaculate as I can. It's just another TRD part and uh, fancy looking. I never knew it existed, but it matches the spoiler and the hood spoiler, the bonnet spoiler. And it was actually the set made available for anyone who bought this through Toyota. She turned it out though. Inlays are in on the side skirts as well as the front bumper. So for the rest of the night, I think I'm just gonna tackle this to my satisfaction. We'll see how long I actually stay here at the garage, but yeah, everyone else has left, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn on some music, get some inspiration, and go for it, man. That's what you gotta do, just do it. Nike's slogan. <laughs> Anyways, appreciate you guys for watching as all, oh my God. Appreciate you guys for watching as always. Make sure you stay tuned for more car content and all the above, man. This is really who I am as a person. I appreciate any of you guys who take the time out of your day to watch any of my videos and for subscribing and following me if you are. Um, which a majority of you I know aren't so if you aren't subscribed yet subscribe thousand thank yous and yeah We'll see you guys on the next video. Ciao if you ever feel alone, Cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around let it rain, turn around